Greetings everyone. I don't have a message but there is something I would like to share. Something that troubled me so badly that I had to share it. It was about this white lady. She was dressed like a Mormon and she was either teaching or giving a message about love your enemy, pray for your enemy. If your enemy slaps you in on one cheek give him the other cheek and I'm thinking wow has the set apart spirit not visit you or have you not sought the truth for it is written I am the truth the way to life who is our master we need to seek him you know to study to show ourselves approved because if we don't remember what the father of heaven said it is written he has sent forth a strong delusion so those that do not believe in the truth, you know, who seek the master, they will be damned. And wow, that is horrible. So what she was saying is like, love your enemies, pray for your enemies, and you know, they slap you in the cheek, give them the other cheek. Now I want to share with you what the set apart has shown me. And this is why it's so important to study with him. The Christians call the Holy Spirit because he is the teacher and comforter and you'll understand why it is written and you'll understand why it is written your fathers have taught you lies and remember that what the master said beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees what does that mean he was talking about the book the people who study the law they leavened it out which is scripture so that's why we need the set apart spirit to show us the revelation and let me show you what I'm talking about why it's important let's take a look at a first I'm talking about Christianity not Christians okay because I was once a Christian so this is not to bash Christians this is to bash Christianity the mindset of it let's take a look at America we see it as the land of the free is it the land of the free because if you study with the set apart spirit you understand it is the land of the stolen this land has been stolen with the gun in one hand and scripture in the other hand. Who would do that? The, mess the Messiah. He called them those that kill, steal, and destroy. You are of the devil, your father. Steal, kill, and destroy with the Bible in one hand and scripture in the other hand. Not only did they do this to America, take a look at Canada. Were the original people there white? No take a look at Mexico and South America did those people speak Spanish or Portuguese no but they were invaded by people with a gun in one hand and scripture in the other hand and what did they tell these people love your enemy pray for your enemy if we slap you in the other cheek I mean if we slap you in one cheek give us your other it's in the Bible oh you don't do it Pew pew. So I mean that's horrible, right? And take a look at what they did to the descendants of the slave. The ones that originally built the America for free. Not because they wanted to, they had to. They said the same thing. The Christians, or I should say Christianity, because not all Christians are bad, okay? Because some of them we have to go through the process to understand why Christianity is so bad they did the same thing to the slaves love your enemy pray for us if we slap you on your cheek give us the other so this is why it is so important to study scripture with a set apart spirit do not believe everything these Christian content creators are saying because there are heavy leavens that will take away salvation literally take away salvation and that's all I want to share today I'm sorry for the long video again, but I had to get it off my chest. I saw this video probably like several days ago, but it kept troubling me. So I guess the father was telling me to share it so it'll get off my chest. I hope it's been helpful. Until the next video, the most high willing, hallelujah.